Who's body shaming our seal? Some Swedish lady walked by and was like, yeah, that's I, a fat seal. And I, we were I like, no, no, no. <laughs> Ryan called it heavy machinery yesterday. He said we have one goal today and that is not to die. Why were we sent on this road? I mean, if I manage not to die until now, this road is, uh, is actually going to kill me. <laughs> Good evening, we are currently in Horta Fayal in the Azores where we just arrived and we are going to start by doing all the absolute must do's when you arrive in Horta after a transatlantic. Over the last month, we have been told by multiple people that the first thing that we should do is to go get a gin and tonic at Pete's Sports Bar. And so uh, we're on our way, we're going with Annette and with Zanzibar to celebrate our landfall. And um, I'm pretty excited about booze right now because uh, well, we just spent um, two weeks pretty sober. Okay, let's go! Painter, right. painter, painter. Let's go! We're going to land! First time in 16 days! You have the emails still if anybody asks. Yeah, yeah. I do. Okay. <laughs> How are you? Um, how you really I'm good. I'm hungry. This yeah. feel this. The are you hangry? The engine feels very weird, though. So good. Yeah, these are our friends on Zanzibar who have been crossing with us. You can say hello to YouTube. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Love you. <laughs> Peter Sports Cafe is an absolute institution among sailors. And for anyone landing in Horta after a transatlantic crossing, sharing a gin and tonic with your fellow seafarers is your first duty. As witnessed, the hundreds of boat flags from all over the world hanging everywhere. Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. Okay, successful crossing. Yes! And, uh, well, how we were happy to see you again after four days in the dark. Oh my gosh. Oh, yes. We're so happy. Good morning. Today we are going to the market. One thing that I really love about Portugal is how easy it is to go to any type of market and you will find the best, the most beautiful produce, fruits, vegetable, bread. And I've really missed that in the Caribbean. So, I wish that you could feel the smell because it smells like fresh mint and it's so delicious. Uh, all right, but hey Ryan, let's go there. This is where we can find the amazing bread <laughs> that we've had. It's so good. It's so, so good. There is one. <laughs> what are we getting, Ryan? Some whales. Show me the whale. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, look at the little family of whale that we bought. <laughs> this is our whale. This is for Ryan's sister and this is for my brother. Yay. Here in Horta, there is a tradition for sailors who arrived after having crossed the Atlantic Ocean. And it is to write the name of your boat and a little bit of a painting or artwork on the wall of the port. This is probably the first thing that we wanted to do, but it has been raining. We have been sleeping, but finally, Ryan decided to take the matter into his own hands. And while Annette and I were filming some episodes of sailboating with Sophie and Annette, Ryan took the brushes and went to the harbor. And I'm about to join him and finish our polyseal painting. Let's see how it turns out. I have to be honest here, I do not have uh, very high hopes. Neither Ryan or I have a very uh, developed uh, sense of uh, artistry. 
and also Ryan found a very prominent place uh, on the wall, so um, this will be interesting. How's it going, honey? Uh, pretty good. I mean, the artistic talent. Ryan thinks that our seal is a little bit fat, and uh, I mean, uh, pull a seal but make it a stick figure. Look at that stick figure. The walls of Horta Harbor are covered with mural paintings from sailors arriving after a transatlantic passage, and each one of them tells a story about the boat and their crew. There is no rule for the design, but the painting usually features the name of the boat, the year of passage, and the name and nationality of the boat and crew members. I am pretty sure I just botched the American flag. It does, it, it does not look good. Uh, no one really knows when the first mural was painted and by who, but the paintings have become a tradition taken very seriously by sailors, as well as a tourist attraction, which we inadvertently became the ambassador of on that day. Okay, so uh, I was jokingly telling Sophie that I told this huge tourist group to come down here because they're painting. That's not true, but they still came down here and uh, Ryan and Sophie were a tourist attraction for all those people. Who's body shaming our seal? Some Swedish lady walked by and was like, yeah, that's I, a fat seal. And I, we were I like, no, no, no. The seal was fat and I wanted the answer of no, it looks great. <laughs> and she gave me the answer that was actually correct, which was, yes, it's fat. There is no body shaming on board this boat. Seriously. We do not body shame, especially not seals. And then that lady, she's like, it's the, why do you have the Greek flag on there? I didn't even think about that. I was like, well, it's the Swedish flag. No, just leave it. Just leave it. And then she's telling me all about Leonard Cohen. All right, guys, we realized that we chose the placement of our painting. Uh, like we didn't realize what was next to ours. If you know, you know. It is lucky that I am the least superstitious person in the world. Uh, Ryan on the other end, uh, <laughs> not so much. Not so much. I don't know how to make the seal look less fat. No, it's just... It's Yay, look at that! <laughs> Holy Seal is now immortalized on the wall of Horta Harbor. This is pretty cool! I think that we did a good job, Ryan. Yeah, it's really nice. I, I give ourselves a 9 out of 10. Yeah, except for the Hungarian flag. No, no point. The, the, the Hungarian flag is uh, crying for help. Okay, so the best way to explore the island of Fayal is to uh, rent some type of vehicle and drive or bike around the island. Uh, today, our vehicle of choice is an electric scooter, which is going to be interesting because I have never driven a scooter before. Like, not even a regular one. I will tell you, I, before yesterday, I also never drove a scooter and it's amazing. So hopefully I make it out of this day uh, alive in one piece. And it has more faith than me in my ability to. Uh... Ryan called it heavy machinery yesterday. <laughs> but also, okay, also, Ryan had very similar doubts. He said, we have one goal today and that is not to die. And I thought that was very um, negative. <laughs> so, but I see you have similar worries, but it's gonna be fun. Let's do it. All right, this is it, guys. I hope that this won't be the death of me. Somewhat. Ah! Okay. All right. Let's do this.
All right, so we have arrived at the top of the volcano where we are going to explore the crater. Uh, I am still alive, which at this point I do consider a miracle, uh, given... Uh, we came full throttle through that thing. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy we... we... All right, here is what we're going to do. Okay, so I would qualify this view as uh, absolutely exceptional and um, this made crossing the Atlantic well worth it as a... Uh... <laughs> no, this is amazing. This is incredible. Uh, wow, 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 wow. All right, Annette, what's our next destination? All right, hold on. Let me get out my map. <laughs> here is take Ricardo's suggestion. All right. Go on. We're going to go down and then we're going to take the bumpy road. Okay? Oh no, I thought that we were on the bumpy road. Oh no, no, no. I hope you I hope you enjoyed the road up to here because this road. <laughs> Just overall great, right? I mean, my butt hurts. Already? Oh, yeah. A guy just stopped on the car and uh, he said, it, it gets better. And then he left like, no, I'm joking, it gets worse. Whoa, no way. Yeah, he did. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, let's go. Woo -hoo! I mean, if I manage not to die until now, this road is uh, is actually going to kill me. Uh, what the hell? What, what is happening here? Why were we sent on this road? Why? Because Ricardo was like, oh, this road, this road is just like a little bad, but it's fine. Just take it out. Take that road. <laughs> we're like, um... <laughs> he lied to us. <laughs> It's not a little bad. <laughs> this is a hiking run. trail. This is not a road. I mean, what? Okay, so tonight is a sad night for the crew of Police Hill. Um, because it is losing a member, a member that was supposed to come on board for one month and ended up staying too. Don't know what happened there. Maybe the tiramisu was good. I have a few questions. The first question, Annette, is what is the thing that you will miss most about us or you enjoyed the most about us on your travels the last two months? <laughs> the tiramisu was amazing. It lifted my spirits exactly when I needed it. Um, but no, I think it's it's the fact of, that I laughed so much with you guys. Really, I know it's a little cheesy, but because Ryan was uh, teasing you all the time. I I, 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 mean, I don't kid yeah, around. The end. You wouldn't stop, but with both of you, so we just had cool, like, great laughs. Yeah, we had. Um, I also cried a lot. Uh, <laughs> you know, whatever. If you did not know that about me, I make people cry. <laughs> Question is how. It's a superpower. <laughs> what is the thing that you enjoy about a monohull that you don't get on a catamaran? As far as a monohull goes specifically? <laughs> Hold on. How much time do I have to think? Somebody described it to me as it being more romantic the way it moves with the waves. And I did enjoy that and I think we did very well sailing. Like, we made great speed, 
and there has, there has been some smooth motion there too among the. Would you ever consider coming on the Polar Sea again if we decided that we would allow you to come? Well, in this strange, strangely surprising event that you did decide that I was allowed to return, but if that was maybe the case, I think I would have to think about it a whole lot of time now. I would, yes, I would return. It just looks white from here. Oh, I think it wow. looks great. Yeah. Oh, that looks great. I mean, it's not dry dry, but it's... Oh, oh yeah. Uh, so nice. It looks good. All right. Those two guys have spent the last two weeks just teasing each other, but who's crying now? Are you gonna come with us to the boat, Annette? Yeah, just out of habit. <laughs> Bye Annette. <laughs> Bye Annette. We miss you so much. It's okay. We'll we'll see you we'll see you sooner than we know. Mm. You know you can go back and play boys to men. So hard to say goodbye to yesterday. <laughs> oh, and now we pray. Bye, Annette. We'll miss you. We'll think we of you we and will miss you, Annette. Okay, travel safe, okay? Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Oh, it's so sad. Oh, Are you sad, Ryan? I'm sad. Bye, Annette. Bye-bye. If you wake up at 6 a.m., you may see us leave.